So we're talking about storage this week, and uh, we we're looking at how we can classify storage. So here we we're talking about storage, and we're looking at how we can classify storage into different categories. And there's magnetic storage, and then there's optical storage, and then there's solid state storage. So uh, we're really kind of working through the, the, the different categories here. And just to finish out magnetic storage, I kind of wanted to look at my notes right here for this lesson plan for this week. And uh, we've learned about head crashes. We've learned about fragmentation and defragmentation. And we've also learned about uh, tape, how tape is a type of magnetic storage. In addition to a lot of other things, this is what we've learned about magnetic storage. Hard disk drives, magnetic storage. You know, in hard disk drives, we also looked at them and we saw how there are tracks and sectors and clusters and uh, how those clusters are the little cubby holes where zeros and ones get put. And, um, you know, there's the read write head and head crashes. And there's a uh, logical file representation versus physical file representation and uh, how, you know, physically we're storing them on several platters, but logically we just kind of think of it as one disk, right? That's the way it's depicted. So these are some of the things we've learned about magnetic storage. And uh, just to, to, to finish this out, you know, tape, tape, we also learned that their tape was sequential access, whereas hard disk drive was direct access. But uh, just to finish this out, I wanted to pull out uh, a piece of magnetic storage that we all have, but most of us just have never really thought about it. And, um, you know, if you have any credit card, my wallet, that's what I was looking down for. If you have any credit card, on the back of it, there's that strip. And, uh, you know, you swipe this strip when you go into a store, and that strip is actually kind of like a little piece of magnetic storage. Uh, you could even think of it like as a piece of tape magnetic storage that just kind of got embedded onto this plastic. But that's magnetic storage right there, that little strip. And so what does that store, you might be asking? Well, uh, you could store anything you want on there. Um, you know, uh, you know it's, it's, it's storage. You could put whatever zeros and ones you want on there. And uh, how much can you store on there? I don't know. I've never looked that up. <laughs> you might want to check that out. But mo mostly what it seems to me, what they store on there is your credit card number, right? So that when you are purchasing something, instead of the clerk having to say, hey, what's your number and type it in, or instead of you having to type your number in, you just swipe your card and then their system goes, oh, that's what your number is. Right. And so your number, your credit card number is one of the things that's stored on this magnetic strip. There might be other things stored on that strip. I don't know. But that's just kind of interesting to know about. I was kind of surprised when I learned that. I was like, oh, that's magnetic storage right there on the back of these credit cards. So that's kind of cool to know about. All right. So we learned about magnetic storage. Next, you're going to be looking at optical storage.